Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, August the 23rd. We're going to talk about the Heart of America Marathon, which is coming up just around the corner. I think the week after next, which is Labor Day. And Kathy Lee is with us. Good to have you here, Kathy. Oh, thank you for having me, Paul. You're all, you're all decked out in your Heart of America mm-hmm. uh, t-shirt and hat. Tell me about it. That's right. Well, you know, I like the bright orange because then everybody can tell who the volunteers are. Yeah. And we have a great contingent of volunteers, and we're going to have a good year this year with some marathoners and our fun team relay. Okay. So the Heart of Missouri, a Heart of America Marathon is raising money for what? Well, proceeds will go to the Columbia Track Club and the Mid-Missouri Fisher House. Okay. And the track club does many great youth activities for right. children in the community. And the Fisher House will be building a Fisher House right here in Columbia. It's kind of like a Ronald McDonald house, only for veterans. It'll right. be near the VA. Right. How much money are you hoping that you will raise? Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're honest. <laughs> you could, why don't you just put a figure on this? Oh, a couple hundred thousand dollars. Oh uh, no, um, we're still we're we're still building up. Okay. We're kind of small potatoes. That's still. okay. You know what? Whatever amount of money you raise is better than nothing. And, and, you know, one thing we are raising, we're really good at raising, is community awareness. Right. So sometimes the awareness comes before the funds. Right. So we're working right now on awareness. So if people know we're here, and that's one reason why we have the relay. And the Boone County History and Culture Center opens their doors for us, mm-hmm. and there'll be free tours at their village with their volunteers. Okay. So the community can come and get to know all the great history. And Now, what, what do people need to do to sign up for the Heart of America Marathon? So go to heartofamericamarathon.com. Okay. Com? Dot com. org. Dot com. Okay. Go to Heart of, Heart of America Marathon.com. Mm-hmm. Then you can sign up. And what happens? Then you can sign up and either run the marathon, 26.2 miles, Mm -hmm. or you can sign up and do a team. Get Mm -hmm. uh, one or two or three friends together, and you can have a team and break up that distance. So that's a lot of that's a lot of distance. It 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 is, (laughs) but the first leg is is just under four miles. Yeah. So if you can Mm -hmm. find somebody to to do, we have between four miles and about eight miles, and and just divide it up. But people can also email me. Okay. At Como Heart. 1960, C-O-M-O-H-E-A-R-T, 1960, okay. at gmail.com. Como Heart 1960 at gmail.com. Is that the year you were born? That, that's the year I was born and the year the marathon was born. Okay. How about that? All right. That's why the 1960 <laughs> is there. You, so, just, you just gave your age away. That's but all right. It will be coming up on September 6th, which is Labor Day. If you want to participate in this, you can email uh, Kathy or you can go to Heart of America Marathon. Marathon.com mm-hmm. for all the information. Kathy Lee, thank you so much for coming by. And I do hope that you raise thousands and thousands and thousands <laughs> of dollars. Thank you, Paul. Okay, let's, let's put a cap it. on there at $100,000. There okay. you go. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll, all right. I'll, I'll all We're out it. of time. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank Best you. of luck. Break a leg, but not really. Not really. <laughs> right. Got it. All right. Our next guest is a good friend of mine, Dana Glantz. Good to have you here, Dana. Thank you. From Osteel Strong. And uh, the last time you were on, we were talking about a, a, a group of ladies. I imagine they're ladies, right? And we, we called them the Mighty Members, Small But Mighties. Mm-hmm. And they are members who uh, have improved their strength and bone density over a period of time. Mm-hmm. Is that group still still in force? Oh yeah. They've you know, many of these members have been members for two years. 
and they were part of our founding member group. Is this the general profile, these, these small but mighty ladies, is this the general profile of people who really can benefit from the, the bone density improvement? Certainly, uh, they're identified as uh, the profile in, the, in medical terms, basically small-boned, uh, slight builds, and uh, but there's many other people who you would see that aren't small boned, who also are uh, having issues with osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. Can any age, gender, or body basis benefit from this? Because we talk about you think about small, frail ladies as mm -hmm. having osteoporosis, yeah. but actually anybody can be affected by exactly it. because there's all kinds of things that can interrupt bone density building some of those are medications so one for hypertension also uh, medications like steroids that are given for joint pain so you're saying that if you're on medication certain types of medication and one was for high blood pressure right that can cause the bones that to can, lose density? Yes, that can impact bone density. If you're taking the medication for hypertension and you're losing bone density, do you can you counteract that with the, the, the strength training? Oh, of? yeah, definitely. So how does that work? One of the things that happens is it has to do with the absorption of uh, the calcium in the bloodstream. And so uh, the hypertension medication acts at the kidney level. Mm -hmm. And so it can alter that absorption. The uh, steroids, which is an anti-inflammatory drug, can also impair uh, bone density building. Okay, but when you're when you're working on these machines, the, the high, it's called high impact? High impact loading. High impact loading, where you're just simply pressing uh, for about five, six seconds. You're putting that pressure on your bone, simulating as if you were really doing some high impact, telling the bones, hey, I need to strengthen myself. Right. So with the, with the high impact, it causes the bone to bend slightly, and that sends a... Uh, chemical stimulant to the osteoblasts and tells them to start building bone. Yeah, so you're telling the body, uh, the, the body is saying, oh my, I've got a little bit of pressure here. I need to start putting some more resources into building my bone. Right, and we know that gymnasts have the highest bone density of any athlete. They're yeah. the, the strongest of all athletes. About out of time. Anything else real quick that you wanted to mention? So we're doing a special of enrollment fee uh, discounted. If people want to come and they, check us out, they can Google Facebook OsteoStrong. Okay. And or our you number can give them a is... Call. Yeah, number is 573-554-5881. Okay. Dana, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And I know you're mighty but strong. I am mighty don't but strong. Don't be fooled. She's mighty but strong. Don't, don't <laughs> challenge me to any leg wrestling, okay? <laughs>